Okay, let's have a quick look at this homework from uh, Bridges Math, grade four. And this is called factors and tea lights. So we're using uh, 48 tiles for this one to make rectangles. And we're gonna write in the missing part of each rectangle. So every rectangle has the same area, 48, 48, 48, 48, 48. What would this rectangle shape be? So basically, let's have a look here. Use what you know about multiplication and division to fill these in. So first one, one times 48 is 48, right? Then here we have two on this side. So two times what? is 48, or 48 divided by two is what? So basically what is half of 48? And half of 20, half of 40 is 20, half of eight is four, so you could do 24 like that. Um, and then the other ones, I'll just let you try to figure that out on your own. The trickier one might be this one. But compare these numbers, these two numbers here, and you're going to figure it out. Okay, and then you're just filling in the factor pairs here. So 1 and 48, 2 and 24, and then use what you've done here, here, and here to get your other ones. So question, is 48 a prime number or a composite number? And at this point, you should know that. So if you forgot, look it up but it's pretty obvious which one it is if you understand prime and composite. And to explain how you know, um, once you figure out which of these it is, you could write um, this type of number, whatever you decide, has three or more factors, and 48 has how many factors does 48 have? So it is the same thing, okay? And then this part is, what patterns do you observe? So what patterns are there with this list of factors and if you study them, you'll notice some things. So take a look at, for example, um, if I double 1 to 2, what happens to 48? You make that half. And if I double 2 to 4, what's going to happen there? That is also double that is also double. And what's happening to the other factor when you double one factor pair? So maybe, but you're gonna need to um, look at those numbers and see what patterns are there. You may see some patterns that I don't see. You might also notice um, that some most of the uh, factors are either odd or even, so which one is it? So look at your list of factors, and are the more of them odd or even? And let's see, let's just finish this up. Number five and six, I think you can do those on your own at this point. And um, even seven and eight, I think you would be all right, but let's just do one of them. <clears throat> so um, Jane has seven tea light candles, and I'll use a tile array to illustrate this. Um, Aisha has five times more candles than Jay. Not five more candles, five times the candles. So she has five times the candles. So just answer the question with a sentence and also be sure to show a number equation with your answer. And I think that's it for today. Um, so thank you and goodbye.